This is a follow-up to a series of videos I posted recently on the repair of a PDP-11 computer. It was part of a CNC control system that belonged to someone over in Germany and uh, he bought the uh, CNC machine and it was non-working and it looks like the controller had failed. Now if you've seen that series of videos you know that um, I did a, uh, a whole range of repairs, investigations and the uh, owner of the CNC machine was helping. I only had the controller, I didn't have access to the CNC hardware or the interfaces or the uh, motors, encoders, that sort of thing. So I used a lot of these boards to uh, create various uh, simulators to uh, simulate motor encoder combinations, tape readers, that sort of thing. I went through a whole range of tests on the control. And uh, we found uh, uh, quite a wide uh, range of faults on it. Um, the, the PDP wouldn't run properly um, at first. Found a fault with the RAM. Found various ICs that had failed. Uh, shorted components that were uh, tying down uh, some data lines. And um, now I didn't show most of the repair work. It was fairly tedious and went on for uh, several months on and off. So uh, the two of us were working on this uh, for quite a long time. He's over in Germany and uh, I'm in the UK and uh, we spent a lot of time uh, batting ideas back and forth uh, how to get um, the machine working and uh, finally got to the point where I'd been through every single board in uh, quite fine detail, uh, ironed out as many faults as I could find and um, it was starting to respond to the uh, simulators that I'd made and um, it got to the point where it was time to return it to the owner. So as you can see, I no longer have it it was shipped back to the owner and um, he tried putting it into the CNC machine and um, we'll have a look at the video he sent me today to see how he got on. Relay box. Power supply, transformer for uh, servo, servo drivers. This play is a little bit bad, but uh, once it warms up, it will be better. So, Okay, so now it says it's ready. The noise you hear is from the servo drivers. And now, if I 
go. It will and if I change the feed rate it goes slower. So it seems to work. I don't know what's up with the, uh, the the lines are visible when the jog is on and you can hear a bit of noise from the power supply. Maybe bad capacitor or something like that. Let me see. That's a M4 spindle on. Spindle off. So, as you can see, the CNC machine and the PDP seem to be coming to life. Um, the controller can actually drive the CNC machine. It's uh, able to uh, jog the motors, drive up and down. The um, controls work as far as the uh, fixed cycle commands, so turning the spindle on and off, that sort of thing. And so it's looking extremely promising. Now, there are uh, obviously still some issues with it. Um, there's a high pitch wine coming from uh, what he believes is the servo control supply and uh, he be he'll be looking into that uh, might just be a case of replacing that supply um, but fundamentally it seems to be working so uh, fingers crossed that is a successful repair it was a very difficult one but interesting because of the nature of the repair pdps are interesting to work on anyway but um, one that uh, had a lot of custom boards in it was a real challenge uh, and especially considering we didn't have uh, the two parts connected together so uh, that was quite a, an interesting one and it's quite nice to see that uh, it seems to be up and running I might do a final follow-up uh, to this video uh, once he's got the system fully up and running um, but fingers crossed that won't be too long